In this video, uh, we're going to talk about how to organize uh, your scene uh, just to kind of keep things in order when you're working um, on anything 3D because uh, sometimes when you have a scene with multiple things in it, it can get very confusing, uh, especially if you're trying to select something. Um, and uh, you know there's a couple of a uh, bunch of different things in the scene that can kind of get in the way so uh, as you're working on it you want to you know get into the habit of start labeling things um, and again uh, the way you do this and again notice that you know some of these items are, are kind of already kind of labeled and I kind of went around and did that the way you did th do this is by <coughs> uh, you can select the object and click, double click on the default name that, that comes with it, with the 3D object, and just give it uh, a name. And, you know, in the, in the case of this one will be walls. Uh, you know, if you want to go around and label these, uh, you know, each individual one, that's completely up to you. Um, <coughs> but another way that you can kind of go about organizing your scene, it's... Uh, by making uh, groups and by um, by using uh, creating layers <coughs> so and again this is very helpful especially if you're trying to make uh, kind of duplicates of things to kind of fit in certain areas for instance you know I kind of went on my own and did the, the window and now I need to make instances of it to kind of fit in these holes right here so I can uh, very easily just select every single item that uh, I have here and just do an instance and move it over. But it'll be a lot easier if I actually group this uh, kind of first before I do uh, any th anything like that. Um, just for the sake of kind of think keeping things organized. So, <coughs> um, so let me just show you how you go about creating groups. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all the uh, items that kind of make up this window here and again to kind of have multiple selections I'm holding shift as I'm kind of going around and clicking on this alright <coughs> window frame and the panels and then these kind of separate objects that are the windows so <coughs> Now that I have all the objects that uh, kind of make up this, this window frame, I'm going to go into Edit and then go down uh, and group it. Now, you can also use the shortcut Control g So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and press it here. Okay, and again, notice that uh, it, you know, it kind of seemed like it did something to it, but then I go back to the object and it's like really didn't do anything. The thing is that in order to actually be able to select the group that I created, I need to go to another form or of organizing um, or another place where I can organize things and it's called the Outliner. So I'm going to go into the into Window and then I'm going to click on Outliner. And this is going to pop out basically a list of basically of everything that's on my scene. Anything from the cameras, from perspective to the front camera to the side, uh, the image plane that we're using for reference, every single object that we have in our scene. And again, notice that some of these kind of have the default name, some of these have kind of labeled myself, and then this group that I just created. <coughs> All right? So, in order to select the group that I selected, I have to go into the outliner and actually select it through here. Another thing that I can do is label it myself so I'm gonna call it Windows underscore zero zero alright because again I'm gonna have a couple of of windows and uh, <coughs> I basically want to be numbered correctly uh, another thing that I can do and again notice that the pivot of this it's basically at zero 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 so <coughs> again uh, basically when you group things the group itself uh, which is called Windows underscore zero zero is going to have its own system of attributes and you're going to find the channel box which is separate from everything from all the individual uh, kind of pivots that each of these elements have so if I want the pivot of the group to be actually at the middle here I can actually go and modify it and center the pivot okay and again it's not going to ma it's going it's not going to affect any other pivot that's part of the group okay so um, now that I have this group selected 
and I want to make I want to make an instance of it and kind of fill in the holes that I have right here. So I'm going to go into the front viewport, okay, and uh, then I'm going to go to edit. Uh, Duplicate special, sorry. And <clears throat> again, I want to make sure that my settings are reset so none of this is affected by anything I might have done before. And I'm going to change from geometry type from copy to instance. And then I'm going to apply. Now, what it did is that it, it, it made an instance of the whole group. And that means that every object that's part of that uh, group, it's an instance of the original. Okay? So I'm just going to move it up and make it fit uh, up here. Right, I'm gonna have to move this edge up a little bit, but that's uh, completely fine. And I'm gonna do another duplicate special of this group, and then move it to this space right here. Okay. <coughs> All right. And if I, I and again, if I go into my outliner, I can select every single one of my windows, and they're kind of separate from each other. All right. And uh, I could. Uh, now that they're all, uh, uh, each one of these kind of windows are a group of its own, I can also kind of bring them all together into a layer that uh, is going to allow me to be able to hide it and freeze it if I need. So I'm going to select all of these three groups. And then I'm going to go, uh, again, making sure that I'm in my channel box, I'm going to go into my layers here. And I'm going to click on this symbol, which is for create a new layer and assign selected objects. So I'm going to click on it. All right, and automatically anything that I have selected is going to become part of that layer. Okay, so notice that my windows are now being hidden if I click on the V uh, letter. Okay, I can also come here and label this. So let's just call it Windows and save. All right, and again, another neat thing that you can go through, you can do through your layers. If you click on this second box once, it's going to give you kind of like a transparent wireframe form that you can't really affect, but you can see. And uh, the second form, it's basically something that's shaded, but it's frozen, so you can't s interact with it. But you know, it's there in case you need it for reference. So uh, you know, or you can just leave it as is and hide it. Okay, and now that I have my windows in uh, in this layer, and again I can freeze them, just leave them like that. I can kind of start creating layers uh, <coughs> to just kind of you know kind of organize my scene a little bit better. Um, so let's say I wanted a specific layer for the body of the house, so I can just and again this object's label walls, and it's labeled in my uh, you know in my outliner as well if I needed to find it there. And I can just click on the um, create new layer and assign selected objects. Okay, and just call it walls as well. All right, let's just call it walls wall layer, and then save. Okay. <coughs> now again, I can freeze it so I don't I don't have to kind of mess with it anymore. And. Uh <coughs> We also have there's all another type of grouping that uh, that you can do through the outliner, uh, and it, it's it's technically how you do parenting, um, and the way that works is that you can technically assign or parent an object through the outliner uh, by basically uh, selecting another object and just um, kind of drag it in into the one that you want the to be the parent. So for instance, if I wanted this door frame to kind of follow along to whatever I do to, to this door one right here, all I have to do is middle mouse click and just drag this door frame into the door. Okay. And now if I click on the plus sign, you're gonna see that that door frame is kind of part of of parented to this door one. So if I go here and I select this door is gonna select both items. Okay. And again, uh, for the sake of this kind of demonstration, I'm going to stick to actually making groups like this and uh, and creating layers. <coughs> because there's no need for me to parent anything at this point. There, is no, there isn't going to be any animation or anything like that. So, <coughs> uh, 
I'm going to select all the objects that make up this door, which is this. Okay. And again, I'm going to go to modify, uh, sorry, to edit. Then I'm going to group it. Okay. And again, I just created a new group right here and I could call it door. Okay. So now I have this group right here. And again, my pivot is at zero, zero, zero. And I can just go to modify and center to object. Okay. Uh, <coughs> And then I can take this uh, door group that I have right now and I can actually, again, create a layer for it. Let's give it a name. Let's call it door layer and save that. Okay. And uh, we can actually freeze it as well. Okay. So, again, to keep things organized in your scene, uh, you can label things. Okay. And again, you can do that by. <coughs> kind of changing, uh, double clicking here on the name on the channel box and give it a name there. We also learn how to group things, okay? Uh, and uh, how groups are kind of, uh, you know, it's its own thing, so you can actually have a specific pivot for the group and then each specific thing, each individual thing from that group would have its own pivot as well. Okay, and, I, and again, you're seeing here that whatever I select is kind of affecting everything else um, um, that's an instance of it. And, and again, the reason is because it's an instance, because whatever I do to one is going to do to all of them. Uh, <coughs> and uh, we also learn how to create layers and how to, how to label these and keep them organized. And uh, again, before we you kind of proceed with your assignment or whatever it is that you're doing, you know, always take the time to to label things and kind of keep things organized. So, uh, so your, uh, you know, your working through your assignment can be uh, something a little more effective. All right, thank you for watching.